back in 2008, I was in a car accident. So at that time I contacted South Florida and I actually saw Dr. Houston and he ended up doing a three level neck fusion. Um, from that point on, because of my activity, I was put on pain medication. And that's kind of how my journey started, and that's how I got referred over to Dr. Ramos for maintenance. Dr. Houston did a great job. Um, he went in there only, ho only hoping to do two levels, but once he got in there, there was more damage, so he went ahead and did the three. It was very successful. I was, you know, concerned about the surgery. But to be honest, you know, it was way better than it could have been if I didn't have the surgery. Um, I also recently got uh, diagnosed with lymphedema, which is a swelling of your legs. And I spoke to Dr. Ramos about it. And he's like, you know what, I'm here to help you. Let's get you weaned down. Um, I'm kind of a strong person. And he was going to put me on another medicine to kind of, you know, wean me down from what I was on. But then I would have had to come off of that. So that's kind of where my journey started, where I just made up my mind. And with dedication and perseverance, I said, I can do this myself. And that's literally what I did. Um, came off of a large dose of pain medicine and it took me probably about six to eight months. It was a struggle. I'm not going to say it was easy because I was on it for so long. Um, I just started a little bit at a time, you know, kind of breaking my dose in half. Of course, with Dr. Ramos, he was there the whole time to tell him what I was doing. And then another month, I do a little more. And sometimes I would slide back because, you know, it was, it could be, it was painful. <laughs> but eventually, after about six months, I'm off of the morphine. And I actually did it myself. You know, it was a struggle. It just seemed like my um, endorphins or maybe like my thinking pattern, you know, that was kind of the hardest thing is kind of resetting back into that realm. Um, you know, I spoke to Dr. Ramos and like he had said, you know, because your body was on that for so long and, you know, that's part of the process. So I still have good days and bad days. I'm not going to say it's been perfect, but, um, you know, like I said, I just, I just keep trying and just, you know, thought of the big picture and my lymphedema is still there, but it is more controllable. So, um, that's kind of really, you know, most of it. I mean, my pain has increased. But I'm just trying to decide, you know, I may have to go back on something at some point, but it'll never be that dose. And, you know, I'm just trying to maintain a good um, lifestyle with either no pain medicine or maybe just a little bit. I would definitely recommend him. Um, Dr. Ramos, he really takes time and he listens, you know, and because when he first, I told him my idea, he's like, really? You know, he's down to earth, if that's the way to say, you know, it's like layman terms. He just makes it real easy. You know, even like Dr. Houston, when I first met him, I thought, you've got to be kidding me. You know, he looked like he was 25, you know, and doing that major surgery, just like Dr. Ramos. But Really, I mean, I would highly recommend him. I've, you know, I've obviously gone on, you know, Google and all that, but I mean, he's really saved my life, in my opinion, and obviously Dr. Houston as well, but Ramos is um, always, you know, very supportive, and, you know, it's always like an open door policy with him. I make my appointments. Um, I'm always seen within 10, 15 minutes. I also do use the Port St. Lucie office as well, because I'm kind of like, you know, in, in between. And there it's the same way. I've always been, everybody's very receptive. Um, I feel safe, I will say that, because with the COVID and everything, it's the temperature checks, you know, and that's important, especially when you're at a doctor's office. I would definitely recommend South Florida Orthopedics as like the one, start, you know, a starting point. Um, there are so many doctors here, all specialty fields that they, and to me that's really important, like, you know, some do the neck, some do the hands. So um, I would definitely re refer them here. And, um, you know, that would start their journey. And then if you do have to go on pain medicine, there is Dr. Ramos and he's highly qualified and, you know, he really understands and listens to the patient, you know, looking at their needs as well. If I could, you know, mentor anybody or just like give my advice, you know, if you're thinking of coming off of pain meds, obviously you have to be under a medical doctor, but you can do it, you know, if you really want to do it, if you have, you know, perseverance, um, that will to want to, because that's, you know, you see a lot of people and they stay on them for years or they increase them or, you know, you can do it. I mean, I'm testimonial to that. I did it. <laughs>